I was in here literally 10 days ago when I was going to St. Moritz and they did not have these pieces. Stunning. I kind of really love this. I definitely want to get this. I'm going to try it on. They don't have a black and white, but I can I can suffice with blue. And then she also gave me this. She, she knows. This sales associate knows that I wanted to see this. This is the famous cardigan that was worn by Jenny from Blackpink with the dress. Obviously, I want the dress, but the cardigan. Ooh, and this piece. This is really cute. This, ooh, this little knit jumper. I love like this crochet kind of stitch detailing. Jeans in my size. That jacket is cute. Not with these jeans, which are, by the way, massive. They are massive. But I feel like you can get the bolted. Yeah, you can never have too many jeans. But yeah, I forgot to mention, I do love the jacket, but it's 25,000 dirhams. So I don't think so. We just go all the way back, right? We're gonna make our bed. Pain is ancient. It's a four hour flight. Not to be dramatic. We're gonna get a four hour sleep. Look, wake me. up fresh and get the day started. And we are arriving at around 8 a.m. in Mali. And then we have a 45 minute plane ride. Oh, these are even different. Yeah, it's cold. Look how old they are. I'm good, thank you. Do you want a drink? Thank you. Thank you. Can you reach? Check that side. <laughs> What's wrong with it? Thank you. Yeah, it is. It's a new channel. <laughs> I'm so annoying, but I'm like strictly no dairy, no gluten, no oranges, and no nuts. I'm also really allergic to peas, and that's really frustrating for me because I used to eat a bowl, if not a bag, of frozen peas a night. Do you remember? No, but I break out in hives. <laughs> no, like, yeah, have you not seen it? Yeah, she does. She does. Yeah, she does. She knows. You just don't pay attention. And it just... It dampens my mood, it makes me feel insecure, and it makes me feel yeah. awful, and I don't feel like filming content, so I'm strictly avoiding those. Oh my god, what is going on with these eyebrows? You know, I was literally like this close to shaving off my eyebrows. The duration of this flight to Jolly Maldives will be 45 minutes, and from Jolly Maldives to Jolly B, it will be around 5 minutes. Mango, coconut water, and pineapple. Oh, yeah. Thank nice. you so much. Marhaba, and once again, welcome to Jollibee. Thank you. My name is Nabbe. I will be your Jadugar. And here for butlers, we call Jadugar, mm -hmm. yes. which means magicians. So I will be taking you around before taking.
obviously this is a wellness retreat guys so it's sparkling tea you opened the bottle in your room i did it popped so far we both struggled did you i'm really good with popping corks what flavor is this tea it's so good it's like um jasmine and like sparkling darjeeling tea or something eye protection just in case Wait, 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 wait. Cheers. So, Elisa just popped over to my room. We filmed some content because it's a jam packed wellness retreat. We have sound baths, we have. Actually, wait. So I have a full Joali Being itinerary, transformational journey itinerary. Dear Miss Lely Mirza, on behalf of the entire team, we a very warm welcome to Joali Being, the first well-being island retreat in the Maldives. Okay, so basically given me an itinerary for three, four days that we're here. So first we've got lunch in about 20 minutes. <laughs> we need to get going. Then we have an island tour. I love doing island tours whenever I come to a new island in the Maldives because you get to experience and see what the island has to offer and each island is so unique. Joali is very unique. If you're someone that loves like wellness retreats, this is the perfect, the ideal place for you. And before I just get into it, Joali has two, I was gonna say villas. Joali has two islands. You've got Joali being, which is the wellness retreat. And then you've got Joali, which is like the standard, well, I wouldn't say standard, it's the, ultra luxurious island retreat. Okay, so then we've got island tour and then we've got dinner. Then tomorrow we've got breakfast, we've got a massage, we have an integrative lifestyle assessment. Lord knows I need that. Lunch herbology workshop, we're doing perfume making. And then dinner and then day after we've got breakfast, cryotherapy, love that. A discovery sound path tour. Then we have sound healing. I'm assuming that's like a sound bath. I love sound baths. If you haven't tried a sound bath, trust me, it will transform your life. It's fantastic. Love a good sound bath. So sound healing, then lunch, and then Watsu at Kashi. I don't know what that is. What is Watsu? I'll have to ask. We have a tea celebration. This place has over 60 different types of tea. I love tea. And also they have a matcha, little ceremonial grade matcha kit thing in my room and they provide you with oat milk and any other kinds of milk that you'd like. Ooh, and the day after we have a culinary class. Can I just tell you, if you don't already know, I love cooking. Cooking is one of my deepest passions. So that's part of our transformational journey. I also do want to add that this is an adults only island. I hate kids at resorts, especially like wellness resorts. Like don't bring your child to a wellness resort. But if you do want to bring your child here, they do actually have specific dates which they allow children to come onto the resort. Right now, no, but like Easter holidays because a lot of parents actually come here and they do a 21 day transformational journey. Some hotels have their own personalized like transportation. Joali has their own personalized chauffeur service to take you from the airport to the seaport situation where the seaplanes are. They have their own lounge where you can sit and chill. Most of these places do. And they also have their own plane. Let me just emphasize, the worst part for me when coming to the Maldives is the seaplane because I've always taken the trans Maldivian, whatever it's called. And I'll be honest, it's never really a pleasant journey because there's like 12 seats, it's packed, it's hot, it's stuffy, it's sticky, it's a long flight. But Joali has, I'll be honest, at least I'm like, ooh, PJ vibes. It's literally giving PJ vibes. It's beautiful. You've got at least like, I think six to eight leather seats as opposed to like what seemed like 24 seats on this little tiny plane. So beautiful. It was air conditioned. Dare I say it, I was even cold, which if you know, is almost impossible on a seaplane. But we arrived fresh. They even gave us like fresh cold towels. I mean, they, they kept giving us fresh cold towels because obviously it's hot, the humidity. It's a bit stuffy, but wow, I felt so calm, so collected, so fresh from the second I got into that car to when I got 
to this resort. Just realized I need to iron my dress and I'm not too sure how this works. Another here. Is that a leather? No. Now for the hard part, the ironing. The first time I ever steamed something was when I was interning for, I think it was GQ magazine at the time. I interned for like a publishing house because I really wanted to see what the life of an editor was. Um, obviously awful because here I am not being an editor because I did not enjoy it one bit. But anyways, I was an intern. I was um, helping on a shoot for GQ. I believe it was GQ. It was a men's magazine and the editor asked me, the fashion editor, he was like, oh, can you just steam these things? And I was like, uh, yeah, sure. How does this work? I don't know how he expects me to know how to iron steam stuff. Like, I've never done it before. But we move. Do I dare? Oh, it's hot. I don't know what material this is, but we're doing it on like whatever's the lightest kind of one. I'm not even joking. Like, I never really iron my own clothes. I've never had to. And I'm... I understand my privilege, thank you. Please don't come at me because this is not something I'm used to doing. And it's very normal in Dubai to not know how to do these things because literally everyone has a housekeeper here or someone they send their laundry to. Yeah, it's actually not, let me put the AC on. Oh my God, why is it on 28? What have I done? There's a xylophone and I can sit here. I can stand here and make noise and no one is going to get annoyed at me. Okay, so for lunch today we're at Mojo or Moho. Um, this is Earth to Table Cuisine, so look at this insane this is like menu. This my idea of heaven. I love this because this, basically the four pillars, if you look at all the details, you've got mind, microbiome, skin and energy. And over here next to each dish, it tells you a bit about like what it's going to contribute to and then obviously over here you've got your intolerances also they do not have any kind of fizzy drinks on this island except for of course sparkling water which i love i'm not a fizzy drink kind of girl anyways they have kombuchas they also do serve alcohol for those wondering but they also have amazing non-alcoholic spirits which they blend into cocktails Okay, so this is where we're having lunch today. Look how stunning this view is. It's so good. Definitely coming to this pool later. I love sunken beds like this into the water. They just make tanning so much more bearable. If you know me, I hate tanning. That's Rosie hunting and Whiteley. So we have the aglio olio spaghetti. Love spaghetti. You can't go a day without pasta. It's literally an addiction right now. The green salad looks divine. We have torata, which I'm probably going to be touching. I like the colors on my salad. I know. And then we have chicken. Oh my god, look at the colors. Like, honestly, giving. If my meals look like this every single day, I would happily eat salad. Guys, the towels here. I want to inhale them all day. Like, I just want to snort them. They're so good. <laughs> My mom says I look stupid. Does it look really bad? <laughs> don't know what to do with it. I don't have much hair. I'm going to have to cover up these Thank empty you. bits. Just colour them in. Did you think I brought some hair colour stuff eyeshadow. with me? I didn't bring any eyeshadow palettes, hun. To plan away makeup. That was an aesthetic shot. Content kind of done for the day, lunch done. Now we're going for a little tour. So I'm gonna take off this makeup. Do you wear like a makeup makeup or like powder makeup? No, I can't wear powder. It just, it's so oozy, like literally comes off with one pad. I am wearing uh, Charlotte Hill, no. Laura Mercier's Tinted Moisture. Oh, I actually love that. Yeah, it's quite good. It's the oil-free one. I know makeup wipes are bad, but 
I do not care. Also, another toxic trait of mine is tanning to conceal my pigmentation. And what? Acne you don't have pigmentation? What? I swear. Oh my god, you're actually like not normal. You have like no acne scars. What are you talking about? Oh, like, look, little bits. Basically, going on a tour of the island. I'm going to show you guys some cute spots. And we're going to check out their massive mansion, eco mansion. So cute. Shaped like a turtle. So this is one of the other restaurants. We're going to be coming back here and doing a culinary experience. And this building is basically shaped like a wave. I'll probably show you guys from the outside. But look at all the cutesy architecture. So stunning in this light. And there's like an outdoor seating area. How clean these pathways are and how white the sand is. Everything is so clean, clear. I feel like I'm in like a mystical rainforest. So this is their art studio and they've got pottery painting, ceramic painting. Can you make ceramic? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so. So many, wow, look at this art. This is the biggest gym, apparently in the whole of the Maldives. This is cool. I'm obsessed with the interior, the architecture. Everything is so stunning. My mom was saying it's also textured and that's just such a vibe. Where's she gone? Private Pilates studio. Okay, the gym is huge. I'm obsessed. Loki, want to come to the gym? I feel like this whole vlog is literally just gonna be nature, sounds of nature, and then so what was that? I completely forgot to show you guys my little bike. It has my name on it, which is so sweet. But I did ask for a kid's bike, but they said they didn't have a small enough, like a big enough one. It's given me an idea to start a petite bike company. <gasps> Look at that sunset. Okay, so it's gonna get better, but right now, stunning. My intrusive thoughts be like. <laughs> gonna end this vlog here. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.